Let's look again at Tim Horton's field in Hamilton, the view courtesy of our CBC News drone team. You can see it set for the 108th edition of the Grey Cup Sunday. Hamilton Tiger Cats hosting the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, a rematch of the 107th edition of the Grey Cup. Um, for Hamilton fans, I remind you the Bombers won that one 33 to 12. We will see what happens. It's the first time since 1972 that Hamilton has hosted the game and been playing for the Cup. Now, you see that Hamilton's ready, the field's ready. Well, I'm going to introduce you to somebody else who is ready. Eva Quilden is with me from Hamilton, all set, ready to go. Good morning, Eva. Good morning. Okay, you got the gear on, the scarf, the hat. Is this what you're going to be wearing on Sunday? You're ready for it? Uh, well, I got one of my uh, Grey Cup scarf, so this is just my ordinary game, game <laughs> scarf. This is the this is the warm up. This is the yes. warm up for Sunday. How many yes. Grey Cups will Sunday be for you, Eva? Well, starting from well, I said um, '72, I was uh, um, a, a spectator. Uh, and then from then on, I, 99 was my first, first uh, out of town Grey Cup. So from then when we won, and then afterwards I've been to everyone. Uh, win or lose, we were gone. We booked a flight and we're gone. So did that everyone. make it like 15, 20 more, something like that? Yes, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Something like 20 Grey Cups. That Grey is Cups. incredible. I love the pictures of you that you've shared with us over the years at some of those games. You yes, mentioned sir. 1972. We have to talk about that because I want people to know your story. You had just come to Canada. You came from Trinidad in 1968, yeah, right? 68, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then for 72, somebody gave you a ticket to that 1972 game. Game. What no, do you 72, remember? 72 is when I was, um, I didn't go to the Grey Cup, but oh, I did was a spectator. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought you were a spectator at the game, but you were yeah, part of the, the vibe in Hamilton. Okay, so what do you remember about the 72, that time in well, 72? You remember Bonanza? Yes. You remember Lon Green? Yes. He was a marshal on the, on, <laughs> on the float. And it was surprising because we were watching Bonanza all the time back in Trinidad. And then I come, there he is, and waving to me and in life. And I thought to myself, boy, this is something that is very, 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 very special. So, so it wasn't uh, so much the football as it was the people who were there the for people. the Is that and right? The, the side street and the, the roaring and everybody was on, you know, looking at the parade. And then um, the, next, uh, uh, the next year... And the year before, my friends gave me tickets for us to go to the different um, um, Grey Cup. And then in 99, when when we went to the, um, I think it's when, when we won the Grey Cup, that's when everybody started, well, Eva, you better go to the rest of them. So we've been going all the time. We didn't ever win. We, it was near, 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 near misses. <laughs> never won. But win or, win or lose, we were going. Win or so lose, we you were there for your team. A yes. And you joined the fan club, and so you've been, you've been rooting for them ever since. Yes, the Cat Claws. We were special, the Cat Claws, because we were the one that keep the Walk of Fame dinner for the alumni. All the plaques on the walls were the alumni um, that, that did the... So this is something that we, we, we did. <gasps> All of these are players that we put, you know, put them, give them plaques. And we, cause most of them didn't get a, a, a ring or anything like that. No. So we had to do something for them. To honor them. Who is your favorite Thai cat of all time? Do you have a favorite player? Well, um, they always say Joe Monford was my son. So oh, I picked him. You liked him? Yeah, but I had lots more, you know, lots more of them. So, But he was, the, uh, you know, special. <laughs> Some greats over the years. But listen, people should know, I mean, the team now, I mean, I'm sure they have over the years too as you follow them so closely, but but they know you. Well, they even have a nickname for you, don't they? Don't they? Yeah, the, in those days I was the mother, <laughs> but now I'm the grandmother. <laughs> so, so everybody say, who is your son or grandson playing on the team? And I said, pick any one of them, and, you know, because they're, they're all the same. Life. All I try to get them, not to get hurt. Just play a good game. So you mentioned 99. I, I'm guessing that's going to be the answer to this question. But what is your favorite Thai Cats memory? In, in uh, my memory of, of all the these years. is traveling, traveling to the different province and seeing the, how the people in there celebrate 
break up. So that you know, or it's it doesn't matter what team is on, but then the the, the, the spectators, the the friendliness of the different um, teams and the different people on the streets, the parades. I, I was thinking we would have one this year, but it didn't work out. And all, all the different, you know, the when the halftime comes in, it's 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 so well planned. Everything is you know down to earth. Yes. Well, you have great memories. We will see if you'll create some more this Sunday because, as you know, the oh, history, the last time the Ticats played for the Cup at home was 1972, your first exposure, and there they yeah. are hosting this time. They won in 1972. What do you it think, is, Eva? Yeah. Can history repeat this year? Well, uh, fingers crossed. I'm not predicting anything, but whatever goes, goes. <laughs> well, you know that Winnipeg's heavily favored, but you're still rooting for your team. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Isn't that uh, fantastic? Yes. Are you, and you'll be at the game. Big man. You're going to be there to see it in person? Oh, yes. I bought a ticket since, in the, since last year. We had it. We bought tickets and things for, for, for this year. So everything is already, you know. And then with my children and them, they, just, they landed in Canada. 50 years ago on the 12th of December. So they celebrate it. So all of us uh, are going to be there. I think that's a Me wonderful part to the story. You arrived in 68. Yes. The rest of your children came on in 71, that day yeah, and they, yeah. 50 mm -hmm. years ago. So they'll be all with you. What a wonderful So they all uh, are going to celebrate it. Beautiful. Yeah. They all have yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a wholly special, that's a different memory, special in its own way. 